Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Mitochondrial DNA analysis, maternal DNA and forensic testing. Table of contents. Introduction to mitochondrial DNA. Characteristics and structure of mitochondria. Mitochondrial genetics. Methods for mitochondrial DNA analysis. Applications of mitochondrial DNA and uses of mitochondrial DNA analysis. Limitations of mitochondria DNA analysis. Introduction to mitochondrial DNA. Genetic analysis of mitochondrial DNA plays a crucial role in forensic investigations. It is widely present in biological materials, making it valuable even when nuclear DNA is absent. The likelihood of finding mitochondria in biological samples is significantly higher compared to nuclear DNA. Before exploring its forensic significance and analytical methods, it is essential to grasp its basic structure and functions. Characteristics and structure of mitochondria. Mitochondria are double membrane-bound organelles found in the cytoplasm of nearly all human cells, except for red blood cells, which lack mitochondria. The number of mitochondria in a cell varies depending on its function. They share common characteristics with prokaryotic cells, including similarities in size and structure. Mitochondria possess self-replicating genetic material, such as DNA, and divide by binary fission. These features support the endosymbiont theory, which explains their evolutionary origin. Mitochondrial structure. The outer membrane is a smooth outer layer that regulates the movement of molecules between the mitochondria and the cytoplasm. The inner membrane is highly folded into structures called cristae, which increase the surface area for reactions essential to ATP synthesis. The inner membrane space lies between the inner and outer membranes and helps maintain the protein gradient necessary for ATP production. The matrix is the innermost compartment, filled with a fluid-like, or gel-like substance where key biochemical reactions occur. The matrix also contains mitochondrial DNA, ribosomes, and enzymes required for cellular respiration. Mitochondrial function. Mitochondria are the site of essential cellular processes, including glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation, leading to the production of ATP adenosine triphosphate. Due to their role in ATP generation, mitochondria are often called the powerhouse of the cell. They regulate calcium concentrations within cells and contribute to various signaling mechanisms. Mitochondria play a crucial role in apoptosis, programmed cell death, by releasing cytochrome C into the cytosol, which binds to apoptotic protease activating factor 1 to trigger a cascade of apoptotic events. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Mitochondrial Genetics Mitochondria contain their own extra-chromosomal genome, which differs significantly from the nuclear genome. Mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, is located in the matrix, along with ribosomes and enzymes involved in cellular respiration. Each mitochondrion contains 2 to 10 copies of mtDNA. Margit Nass and Sylvan Nass first identified and isolated mtDNA from rat liver cells in 1963. The first complete sequencing of mitochondrial DNA was performed 18 years later, in 1981. mtDNA is double-stranded, circular, and lacks histone octamers and introns, making it similar to bacterial genomes. It consists of two strands, a heavy strand 
and a light strand named based on their density differences. The mtDNA genome is 16,569 base pairs long and encodes 37 genes, including two rRNA genes, 14 tRNA genes, 13 polypeptides, primarily enzymes involved in oxidative phosphorylation. The D-loop is a unique third strand of mitochondrial DNA found in the non-coding region of mitochondria. The D-loop region contains two transcription promoters, one for each strand. The origin of replication is located within the non-coding region, and the D-loop spans approximately 680 base pairs. How do mitochondria serve the forensic analysis? Mitochondria have a high mutation rate due to the lower fidelity of mitochondrial DNA polymerase and the lack of a robust repair mechanism, making mtDNA more prone to mutations compared to nuclear DNA. The most mutation-prone regions are the hypervariable regions. Hypervariable region 1 positions 16,024 to 16,365. Hypervariable region 2 positions 73 to 340th. Hypervariable region 3 positions 438 to 574. These highly variable regions are useful for forensic case investigations due to their uniqueness within populations. Each mitochondrion contains 2 to 10 copies of mtDNA, and a somatic cell can have up to 1,000 mitochondria, making mitochondrial DNA more abundant than nuclear DNA. The high abundance of mtDNA allows forensic investigators to extract usable DNA even when nuclear DNA is degraded or present in minimal quantities. Mitochondrial DNA is maternally inherited, meaning all maternal relatives and siblings share the same haplotype, except for mutations. This characteristic is crucial in missing person investigations, where maternal relatives can provide reference samples for identification. Mitochondrial DNA is exclusively inherited from the mother. During fertilization, sperm cells contribute minimal cytoplasm to the zygote, meaning the majority of mitochondria come from the maternal egg cell. Paternal mitochondria are believed to be actively degraded within the egg cell after fertilization, preventing their inheritance. This mechanism ensures that maternal mitochondria play a dominant role in the development of the embryo. Heteroplasmy Heteroplasmy in mitochondrial DNA refers to the presence of multiple mtDNA variants within a cell or an individual. mtDNA exhibits a high degree of heteroplasmy, which is essential to understand before exploring forensic analysis methods. Causes of mitochondrial heteroplasmy include spontaneous mutations within the mitochondrial genome, bottleneck effect, where mtDNA variants are unevenly passed to offspring, parental leakage, though rare, where paternal mtDNA is transmitted. There are two main types of heteroplasmy in the population, length polymorphisms, point polymorphisms, most forensic laboratories focus on point polymorphisms since they provide crucial information for human identification in forensic cases. The International Society for Forensic Genetics guidelines for human identification using mtDNA do not mandate the use of length polymorphisms. Types of heteroplasmy in mitochondria. Intratissue heteroplasmy. Multiple mtDNA variants coexist within a single tissue. Tissue-specific heteroplasmy. Heteroplasmy is present in one tissue, while another tissue exhibits homoplasmy, a single mtDNA type. Intertissue heteroplasmy. An individual possesses different mtDNA types across various tissues, though this is relatively rare. The presence of heteroplasmy complicates mtDNA analysis in forensic investigations due to limited understanding of its underlying mechanisms, uncertainty in the rate at which heteroplasmy occurs and changes. Methods for Mitochondrial DNA Analysis
the techniques for mitochondrial DNA analysis have evolved significantly with advancements in molecular biology. In the 1980s, low-resolution fragment-length polymorphism analysis was one of the earliest methods used. This method involved five to six restriction endonucleases, followed by PCR amplification to analyze mtDNA. By the 1990s, forensic DNA typing began focusing on controlled portions of the mitochondrial DNA genome. The D-loop, hypervariable region, was identified as the region with maximum variations among individuals, making it crucial for forensic analysis. Standard methodologies for mitochondrial DNA analysis. Mitochondrial DNA analysis by sequencing. Mitochondrial DNA analysis using restriction fragment. Length polymorphism. DNA extraction. Forensic labs receive a wide range of biological samples for DNA extraction, including blood, semen, menstrual fluids, vaginal fluid, saliva, urine, and organs, e.g., intestine, stomach, and liver. When body fluids are unavailable, bones, teeth, and hair can serve as alternative sources for DNA. Extracting DNA from bones, teeth, and hair requires special handling since physical changes in these samples can impact forensic analysis. Mitochondrial DNA analysis is often preferred in cases where nuclear DNA is degraded or insufficient for profiling. DNA extraction methods, silica-based membrane extraction, used for isolating DNA from small forensic samples. Kellex extraction, a rapid method for extracting DNA from small samples, including hair or degraded samples. Organic extraction, traditional method using organic solvents like phenol chloroform for DNA purification. Solid phase. Extraction. DNA is bound to a solid matrix and then eluded, enhancing purity and yield. PCR amplification. In this step, the target regions, specifically the hypervariable regions, undergo amplification for up to 45 cycles. These regions display a high degree of variation among individuals, as previously discussed in mitochondrial genetics. Sequencing. Two primary methods are used for DNA sequencing, Sanger sequencing and next-generation sequencing. Sanger sequencing, also known as the chain termination method, incorporates dideoxynucleotides into the growing DNA strand. According to ISFG guidelines, most forensic laboratories use Sanger sequencing for analyzing the hypervariable regions 1 and hypervariable regions 2 of mitochondrial DNA. In recent years, some labs have also started sequencing the hypervariable regions 3 region. Next-generation sequencing technologies, such as Illumina sequencing, allow rapid whole mitochondrial DNA sequencing, improving efficiency, and enabling faster forensic reporting. Interpretation of results. After completing mitochondrial DNA sequence analysis, the questioned sample is compared with the known sample using reviewed sequences. A comparison of two sequences results in either a perfect match or no match. If the samples match at all evaluated sites, they are considered concordant. Results are classified into three categories. Exclusion. Two or more nucleotide differences indicate the samples do not originate from the same source. Inconclusive. A single nucleotide difference makes the result uncertain. Failure to exclude. Identical sequences or common length variants, e.g., in the hypervariable regions 2 C stretch, suggest the samples share a common maternal lineage. If reference samples are unavailable, forensic investigators rely on established mtDNA databases. Commonly used databases include MitoMap, most widely used, GenBank, eDNAP mitochondrial DNA population, database, restriction fragment length polymorphism analysis, Restriction fragment length polymorphism analysis involves amplifying the extracted mtDNA using PCR before treating it with restriction enzymes. These enzymes cleave DNA at specific restriction sites, 
generating multiple fragments within the mitochondrial DNA. Since mitochondrial DNA variations differ among individuals, the location of restriction sites also varies, leading to DNA fragments of different sizes. The resulting DNA fragments are then separated and analyzed using gel electrophoresis based on their size. Applications of Mitochondrial DNA and Uses of Mitochondrial DNA Analysis Forensic Science Mitochondrial DNA analysis plays a crucial role in forensic investigations by recovering evidence from burnt remains, ancient carcasses, or decayed wildlife. It helps determine maternal lineage, which is useful in cases of kidnapping or missing person searches since mitochondrial DNA is inherited exclusively from the mother. Evolutionary biology and anthropology. Mitochondrial DNA provides insights into human evolution, genetic changes, and the history of population settlements. It is also valuable in phylogeographic analysis, helping trace migration patterns and genetic ancestry. Medical genetics. Mutations in mitochondrial DNA contribute to several neurodegenerative, muscular, and metabolic diseases. Disorders linked to mitochondrial DNA mutations include mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episodes, myoclonic epilepsy with ragged red fibers, neuropathy, ataxia, and retinitis pigmentosa, and Leber hereditary optic neuropathy. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Limitations of mitochondria, DNA analysis, limited individual identification. Mitochondria DNA analysis cannot determine unique physical characteristics such as eye color, hair color, or other defining traits, as it only provides maternal lineage information. Lower discriminatory power. Since mitochondria, DNA is maternally inherited and shared among maternal relatives, it is less effective in differentiating between closely related individuals compared to nuclear DNA. Time-consuming and costly. Mitochondria. DNA analysis is generally more labor-intensive, time-consuming, and expensive than nuclear DNA analysis due to complex sequencing procedures. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.